one of the first things you might want to do before taking the bumper off is actually take your plate off if it's not screwed on. So if it's just taped up, like that plate is there, you are gonna struggle a little bit to actually try and pull it off. Like as you can see, that's solid. You obviously don't have to do this. It's up to you, it's how you wanna take it off, but it's probably easier to do it like that because you've got less chance of damaging it on the car, whilst when the bumper's off a car, you've got more chance of damaging it on the floor. So it's probably easier to do it like that. So first of all, let's, let's get that plate off and then get this back bumper off. off now we just need to clean it up and then we can take off the rear bumper Now we've got the bumper off, we can start cleaning the back and then we can start cleaning the front of where the plate's going to rest. Now we're going to use some solvent cleaner just to really degrease it because I don't want the magnets to fall off, this will get all the dirt off. So that is now degreased with solvent cleaner, now it's grease free. Now I'm going to do the same on the front. I'm not going to use solvent on the front for the simple fact that solvent does take off paint unless it's white. So if you're using it on a white bumper, I'm not saying do it because I don't know if it will take it off, but normally white is fine. So if you want to use it on white, then that's your choice. But on silver, it will fade to silver, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to clean up the front with some tar remover and then some cleaning solution. So I've now cleaned the front of the bumper. I used tar remover to get the stickers off that used to be on the number plate holding it on there. And then I cleaned it with some all-purpose cleaner. So all we've got to do now is we need to put on the magnets onto the back of this number plate. This is a new plate as well. So if you're using an old one, give it a wipe down so it's clean so the magnets stick to it nicely. You're going to be putting four magnets on the back of it. Here's the first two. And then once you've done them two, stick on the next two, obviously. All you've got to do is peel this tape off from behind. Just peel it off. Just like that. And once you've done that, all you've got to do is just stick it on the back, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's on the back. And make sure it all goes across here. So now you've got to do that three more times. That is the first bit done. Depending on what car you have as well, you may be able to go under the bumper and slip it up. For me, I'm not gonna do that today for the simple reason of showing you guys how to actually install this instead of just sticking it up because I could easily do that and it would be done so much quicker, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it properly. Now I wanna be putting on these magnets. It has the 3M which are in this tape on there already. As you can see, it's got some magnet blocks here. So you can get the magnets off nice and easily. These don't need to be included. They're just to make it easier for you to remove the magnets apart from each other so they can go in the bin. Now we need to go and line these up. Get your plate, make sure you've got the Magna magnets installed on the back of them. And what you do then is you get your number plate on the front and then you put four of these magnets on the other side and then we line it up. As you can see, I've temporarily got it on. So that's what the front looks like. And that is what the back's looking like so far. These two magnets here, a temporary there as well. We need to put on six more, so there's eight in total. So let's get the rest of them on. You now want to make sure your plate is level, make sure both sides are the same. That's where mine sits best. All the magnets, fortunately on mine, have got some holes, which has made my life difficult. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to miss one of the magnets off. That one's just going to keep sticking to that metal bar. So I'm only going to be using seven in total, but seven should be plenty. But as you can see, the holes there and that one only just fits. The rest are fine. It's all in line. All I've got to do now is take these off one by one. Pull the sticker off so the adhesive can stick onto this bumper. And then you do the same on all the rest of them. Peel that off and then you've got the adhesive and then stick it back on where it needs to sit. Press it down and then you do
do the same with the rest of them, but make sure you do it one by one, otherwise you'll struggle. So the magnets will pretty much just fall where they want to go, but just make sure you've got a little gap between them all, because you'll need room for the next step. And make sure they're all pressed down. So mine's all good, that is what they should now look like. That is how mine is looking, so it's looking pretty smart. Once you've actually done that, you're going to get these plasters that say MP on it. What you do, you peel plaster, and you do the same again. Just like that. Put it on top of each other, so it looks like that. You then want to put it on the magnet, just like that. Press it down like that. And you do the same again on top of there. That's what you want to do on all the rest of them. Then once you've done that, the plate is ready to go. I can take it on and off and you can put the bumper back on the car. You can also do this an easier way. Instead of trying to do it, it's windy and you can't get it right. The other way you can do it, by sticking this on the magnet first, the first plaster, and you get the second one. That is the easiest way of doing it. So if I was you, I would do it the last way I've done it instead of the first way. Unless you're not really bothered, but that is the easier way of doing it. You can also just do it like that as well. This is what it should look like. It's all ready to go. And you should be able to take your plate on and off. I'm now going to go install the bumper back on the car. And then once it's back on the car, I'll show you how the plate works. But I do want to mention as well, if you have a double kit, which is the £70 kit instead of just one magnet plate, you want to make sure yours looks like this. First step is just for one plate. And this is the second step where you just don't put the others on base. Basically, if you're doing the front and back bumper, you want to make sure your back looks like this and the front should look exactly the same as well. You want to make sure you have enough plaster stickers as well. That is what your back one should look like if you're doing both front and back bumpers with both plates. That's just a heads up so no one gets confused because I know a lot of people do get confused with that. So you do have eight magnets in total. So I've got four left in there and I've used four on there. So I'll have four more to use on the front, four more plasters to use on the front as well. So basically it's the exact same as the back one is now. Realistically, you don't even need to put all the four magnets across the plate like this, but that's what it says to do. So that's what I've done. But I guess you could double them up so that one goes on top of there, but it wouldn't make much difference. Or you could just keep two of spares for both front and back. So the bumper is now back on the car. We can now put on the plate. Got the plate ready magnets are on the back now it should just stick straight onto the bumper just like that it is as easy as that so that is how you install the magnet plate you do the exact same procedure on the front of what I've shown in the video on the back bumper today. I'll put a link in the description for the kit I've bought. It's the front and back one. I'll also put the single kit, which I'll put in the description what I didn't use in the video, but just for one plate. I'll put that in the description as well, make it make sense. You know which one to actually buy. So that is it installed now. So this is good for like a show plate. So if you ever went to car meets, you could just take the number plate on and off and you could swap it with another plate that you'd want to put on if you had one. So all you've got to do to take this off is just pull it off as easy as that. This is what mine looks like on the back, as you would have seen in the installation of me doing this. And all you've got to do to put it back on is literally go like that, and that is it. That is all you've got to do if you want to do it to your own car. Let me know if you think this is a good idea or a bad idea. Do you think it's too risky? Do you think people will be able to take your plates? With mine, I've got to be a bit more careful now because it's all over YouTube, but if you did it on your own terms and you didn't film it, you'd be absolutely fine and you wouldn't have to worry about it because no one would know it's magnetic. People would just think it's stuck on. Plus, I don't see anyone wanting to rob your number plate anyway, but you never know. But let me know what you think. Would you just stick to a normal plate? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.